Dangerously hot temperatures take over, especially for the first few days this week. May even see what could be some of the hottest days of the year. That's going to lead to several heat alerts. The first being an excessive heat warning. That'll go into effect at 11 o'clock this morning for Stevenson, Joe Davis, Carroll, and Whiteside County, along with southern Wisconsin. The rest of us in the orange, a heat advisory coming in, coming in at noon. No matter where you're at, your heat index values will climb into those triple digits. Those within the warning will see slightly higher values. But this heat will also follow us into tomorrow as we do still have an excessive heat watch for Tuesday. Yet another hot day, which might even be warmer than what we're going to feel later today. As far as temperatures go at the moment, we're all right. We're still warm into those low to mid 70s this morning. 73 degrees in Dixon, 69 briefly dropping in the upper 60s for DeKalb 73 in Roscoe. Now we're going to reach back into those mid 90s by your afternoon. Not only that, but some higher humidity and that sunshine. Well, it's going to feel like we're in the triple digits 107 for your heat index value today. Take a look at tomorrow. You could add a couple more degrees to that temperatures back in the mid 90s. That will likely be the hottest day that we see this week, this summer, potentially this year. Now we do see some relief, but still feeling like we're in the 90s through at least your Thursday. Now with the heat, there are also some chances for stronger thunderstorms. The first being tonight early into your Tuesday. Notice though the biggest and highest concern is going to be further to the north into southern Wisconsin. We might still see some showers and storms right along that state line. As we head into future track, notice that some of this comes in early tomorrow. Now we might see something overnight as well, but here's what 7 a.m. looks like. Some of these showers and storms really tracking along that state line. Line. They continue to move through. Here's about 830 and everything then moves on out as most of your daytime hours through Tuesday does stay dry. We have yet another potential, however, later into the day tomorrow. This time around, the two out of five risk does sink into parts of northern Illinois. So near US 20 and to the north of that damaging wind gusts and hail will be the biggest concern, just like we may see overnight early into Tuesday morning. Here's what future track shows us. Now this is rather on the earlier end as early as four o'clock is when we may start to see those thunderstorms developing. They continue to move through. Here's just after 5 p.m. So throughout the evening we might see these thunderstorms pack a punch. Then everything starts to really fizzle out as we get into the late evening and overnight hours with a quieter Wednesday. However, again, still going to be a warm one. Temperatures in those mid to upper 80s feeling like we're in the 90s. Active weather back Back with us on Thursday and potentially early into Friday. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, if you're really looking for some relief, you might have to wait until the weekend. Lower 80s, much more comfortable, plenty of sunshine. Heck, by Monday for Labor Day, we fall back into the mid 70s. Talk about comfort. We'll definitely see that through the extended forecast. Manny.